Hi, I'm Dan Costa with PC Mag. We are still at CES 2016. We're at the Intel booth, which is always one of the most interesting booths at CES. It's not just chips here, it's not just PCs, it's the cutting edge technology that you're going to see in the future. Every year I get a glimpse of the products that are going to come out, not just next year, but years from now. Right now we're looking at something called the Recon Jet. Uh, Todd Townsend's going to show it for us, demo it, and explain how it works. Uh, it looks very cool. My first impression, a smarter, sportier version of Google Glass. Well, this is sporty. This is the Recon Jet from Recon Instruments. We are uh, targeting this at hardcore athletes and people that really like to get out there. This is actually for bikers and runners and triathletes, this version. And what it does is it shows you several things. There's a heads-up display below your right eye here. And in this demo we have on this bike, we have three wireless sensors connected to it showing speed, cadence, and power real-time off the bike. And it's going to show me that real-time in this heads-up display. So if I'm out exercising, I'm going to see and get real-time feedback on the data on my exercise through the glasses without pulling out a phone, without looking down. In addition to doing that, it can also tell you if you have a text message coming in, it can tell you if you have a call coming in. It can also show you real-time maps and GPS data if we were outside riding around. So this really does quite a bit. But if I jump on the bike here. So really everything that you're, all the sensors you would get with your phone, all those types of information panels, you can get on the goggles right now. Plus, monitoring your body, how it's working. We're used to, everybody's got a, a step tracker and a pedometer at this point. That's correct. This is the next generation. This is the next generation. So what I, I can kind of customize it. So right now, like I said, we're showing three sensors off this exercise bike. And what I'm seeing in the display right now is, is being shown on the display right over there. So power, speed, and cadence. So if I were on the bike out in the real world, I could see this. Now I could also switch to the mapping feature if we were out on the road and see where I was on a map the GPS was on. In addition, because this will, uh, we have an, an Android-based SDK that lets you write extra apps. So if you want to bring sensors into this and customize it, you can do that as well. So we've got apps for iOS and Android. And we also have a portal. You sign up to the web portal, and you can share this information real time with friends or family or colleagues. So let's say I'm an athlete and I have a trainer. I can be out doing my bike ride or doing my, you know, doing my run, and they can be watching that from home or wherever real time over the web and see all the data off these sensors and help me train. Or for safety reasons, if you have friends and family out, you can turn on the mapping remotely and see where they are They're out on the road. So if it's just the glass, you know, is, is it just the white piece? Just let them know it's the whole thing. The whole thing, no, it's, it's a heads up display right down below my right eye. It's very glanceable. So um, I might, no, it's, it's right. The it's the whole piece. So uh, what I'm doing here is the, these, I'm seeing the real world, but I'm seeing a glanceable display down here. So I can see, just glance down without taking my eyes off the road and see real time data. Now these lenses are interchangeable, so you can swap out the lenses. The battery is swappable. So if you're going to be, you know, go out for a couple days, you want to take extra batteries, you can pop a battery on. But this is Re Recon Jet. And this is to give you that real time data while you're out exercising without having to look away from what you're doing. And you can, you can get text messages on that display. Can you take phone calls? You can see that you have a text message, but it does not display the message for safety reasons. Okay. You can see that you have an incoming call. You cannot answer it from this. If you have your phone on you with a Bluetooth headset, you can answer it that way. Again, we wanted to make this glanceable, easy to see information relevant to your activity, but safe at the same time if you're going to be out on the road. So Recon Jet, you, Intel owns the company. Is the product available now? Is it coming out? This product is available now. It is available right now. And uh, what does it for cost? 499. 49 for the complete package. Um, what about playing music? Can you play music in it? Um, it does have it does have a music player in it. Okay. Yes, it does have a music player. And there's an actually there's a there's an SDK and an app store for this. You can build apps for it, and uh, you can find out more about that over at the wearable section. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. That's and, been uh, Recon Jet, you want, you want well, to? I was going to say, I was going to pass you over to my colleague here, but this is a snow version while we're on Periscope here. So yeah. I just showed you the biking version, but we have a similar thing called Cassandra. I don't know if you want to handle this on Periscope. or We've got Recon. My, my colleague Cassandra here is going to show you Recon Snow, which is similar. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Todd. I appreciate it. So Recon Snow, we saw the biking version of it. Let's talk about people that want to go out in the winter sports. Um, obviously, you get to cover the entire goggles. Tell us about the product. Absolutely. So cool thing about this is we're, again, we're just thinking how can we upgrade your experience. So you're already a skier, you're already a snowboarder, and we've added a heads-up GPS-enabled display right well, that's there. That's a great shot. So that's, the, that's your heads-up display that you just glance down to, but you still have the full field of vision to exactly. see the entire hill. So same exact thing with the Recon Jet. So when you're looking at it, you're looking at it. When you're not looking at it, it's not distracting you. And the, one of the bigger differences between this and the Jet, other than obviously it being goggles, is that um, it connects to your GoPro. So you can have your GoPro wherever you want on your helmet, and you can see live, you can take pictures, videos, right through there. 
Um, one of the other uh, things is it also is going to have a map of whatever ski resort you're at. So you'll be able to find your trail, get back on. It has a compass in case you get lost. And if your buddy has one too, you can see each other and see where you're at so you can meet up. But what I really love about this is that for your friends back at the lodge that maybe didn't make it out, they can watch through our Engage app. They can watch you in real time and see where you are, see your stats. They can also, if you have the GoPro on, they'd be able to see what you're looking at. What about, uh, does it have GPS? Could it be yes. used for like avalanche uh, uh, protection for people that are caught in avalanches to help find them? Well, that's, it does have GPS. So you could definitely, like right now, it's not currently used for that. But I mean, that's what we're really about is, is saying this. It, 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 it doesn't have a camera. The jet has a camera. This connects to a GoPro. So if you have a GoPro, you can enable the camera in it. What's the quality? Does it have voice activation? No. So this is not voice activation. Um, and the quality is the same as whatever GoPro that you've purchased. So it's not through this. Very cool. What, what's, and this is available now? What's the price point? It's available right now. It's 400 Very cool. How are they selling? They're selling well. People are, people are, people are really excited about it. They're, they're, they're really loving them. This is our second version of it. Um, yeah, and it's, it's doing well. Cool. Any other questions on uh, Periscope, on the goggles? Yay. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. the time. Okay. So there you go. Two very innovative, very different products here at the Intel booth at CES 2016. We're going to go and find more cool stuff for you to see. Oh, yeah. Give does it attach to any wearables like Fitbit? It does not attach to any wearables. I can tell you right now, it does not attach to a wearables like Fitbit yet. Um, and it probably wouldn't need to because it's going to, that's not going to have the same um, workout exercise. It's going to be more for uh, mapping than actually tracking your exercise. But pretty cool products. Uh, we have to get both of these into PC Mag Labs so we can actually get answers to a lot of these questions, find out how they perform under serious real life conditions. But it's definitely pretty interesting stuff. That's all we're going to do for right now. We're going to be back. We may even stick at the Intel booth because there's some pretty cool stuff on the other side of the booth that I want to make sure I show you guys. So stay with us. Give us a few hearts before you go and share this podcast. I appreciate you guys tuning in.